The Illinois Department of Children and Family Services got its report card earlier this week on how it's been doing the last two years, and it was not good. 23 News reporter Alyssa Reamer talks to a mom who lost her foster son. She says that she knows the failings of the agency all too well. What we have here is an audit of an agency that takes its responsibilities so lightly that we're leaving abused and neglected children in our wake. The 9th District State Representative Tony McCombe says there's a great need for transparency in the state government as the Department of Children Family Services current audit report shows many children are put into danger. It's up to us to make the changes we need for the people of Illinois the people we serve, and those who rely on the state agencies. 63rd District State Representative Steve Reich says 17 findings are Category 1, which means they're not following state laws. The findings of this audit are a slap in the face. Becky Ray faces the failings of DCFS firsthand. She fostered Nathaniel Burton since he was five months old to seven years old. The agency allowed Nathaniel's biological parents to have the right to see him on weekends after completing parenting videos. At the most strange times, he just tell me of instances of abuse. Ray says one of those times of abuse resulted in Nathaniel's death. His biological mother accused of killing him while he was in her care. They need to make investigations right away. Um, they need to listen when people call in for the, ch the children, you know, saying that there's abuse going on. I think they need to take those seriously. Ray says she reported the abuse to DCFS multiple times, and sometimes they would just ignore her requests and make excuses. Somehow, things would change and he'd get the help he needed. McCombe says the state will hold DCFS accountable and the agency can even face the consequence of a lower budget for not doing their jobs correctly.